To ring up an order, press the POS button from the home screen. When prompted, type in your username and password and select Login. By default, you will see a generic invoice with the default Thank You Customer. You can associate a particular customer with the order by selecting the Change Customer at the bottom of the screen. You can search the customer database by typing into the Input Keywords field at the top of the screen. Once you find the correct customer, you can double-click on the appropriate record or select it and then choose Select or press Enter on your keyboard. Scan the barcode on the item to ring it up. If the item does not have a barcode, press F5 on the keyboard or select the button SKU Lookup. Type in part of the item's description, vendor, SKU, department, or product number and press Enter to refresh or hit the refresh button at the top of the search window. Double click on the item you want to ring up or select the item and then press the select button. Once selected, the item's SKU will display on the main POS screen. Press Enter to add that item to the current invoice. Repeat until all items are added to the invoice. If you have fast buttons set up for popular items, you can also add these items to the order by selecting them from the appropriate tab on the right. To apply a discount to a particular item, select the item from the invoice details and press F2 on the keyboard or select discount at the bottom of the screen. You will now be able to enter a new price, a percentage discount, or specific dollar amount discount. If you want to apply the discount to the entire order, check the box marked Apply Discount to Transaction, All Lines, before selecting a discount amount. Select a reason for the discount from the drop-down box if required. Press Change Price to add the discount. You can also change the quantity of an item by selecting the item and then pressing F9 on the keyboard or the Change Quantity button at the bottom of the screen. Type in the new quantity and press Make Changes. To delete an item, select it from the list and then press F11 on the keyboard or select the Delete Item button. Press OK to confirm. Select the Print Gift Receipt checkbox if you would like to print a gift receipt for this transaction. You could also disable receipts entirely by unchecking the Print Receipt checkbox. You will also have the option to print a gift receipt once a transaction has been completed. After ringing up all the items on the current invoice, select the green payment button in the bottom right. Enter the amount paid next to the appropriate payment type. After typing in the amount, press Enter or click into another field to activate the Complete Transaction button. You can also select the Invoice drop-down menu to access additional transaction types such as Layaway, Quotation, Special Order, Park, or Gift Registry. Make sure you have selected a customer other than the default Thank You customer for these options to be available. If Layaway, Quotation, Special Order, or Park are selected, the expiration field will be activated, allowing you to set an expiration date for the transaction. 